Good morning. This is Kelly Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. A 30-year-old Beersford man will make his first court appearance in Union County later this week on 41 felony charges, including rape and child pornography. Mark Cornish was arrested after police received a tip from an employee at the Family Dollar Store that Cornish and a 13-year-old girl seemed to be flirting together. Police interviewed the girl who told them she had kissed, hugged, and cuddled with Cornish at his trailer house where he lived with his fiancée and two children. Police conducted a search of his laptop and cell phone and found numerous images of child pornography. According to court papers, the kids ranged in ages from 4 to 12 years old. Cornish denies any wrongdoing and told investigators his Snapchat account must have been hacked. Cornish remains in jail with no bond. Authorities in Pennington County are investigating an unattended death in Rapid City. Around 5.20 Monday evening, Rapid City police were called to a home in the 800 block of North Spruce Street for reports of gunshots. Officers arriving on scene found two people dead inside the building. Detectives with the Rapid City Police Department and Pennington County Sheriff's Office are working to find out what happened. At this time, officials do not believe there is a threat to the public. Sioux Falls Fire Rescue is investigating the cause of a Monday morning fire in the southwest part of the city. Around 10 o'clock, crews were called to a home on Orwin Place for reports of a fire. Firefighters first on scene found heavy smoke and fire coming from the home. Crews worked for two hours to stop the fire from spreading. The residents were not home at the time. However, the homeowner's two dogs died in the fire. Now let's send it over to meteorologist Brian Karstens for a check of our cooler weather for the first day of fall. Good morning, Brian. All right. Yes, indeed. Cooler weather and uh, yes, right on time here today. Very pleasant weather. I think at least 60s for highs. Most locations warmer tomorrow, warmer weather likely on Thursday as well. And then the cycle of cooler patterns will return as we kick off the weekend. So, yep, a lot of typical elements for this time of the year. Highs this afternoon, 68 Mitchell, 64 Brookings, 63 in Watertown. We'll take a look at the rest of the weather pattern items in just a few minutes. A Sioux Falls doctor is calling it great news. Pfizer says its vaccine is safe and works for the kids ages 5 to 11. The Avera McKinnon Hospital Chief Medical Officer says getting younger kids would be a huge step in slowing the spread of the virus. That pocket of children between 5 and 11 is, uh, has, has been a real concern. Uh, because they haven't been able to be vaccinated, we haven't been able to give them the same protection as those older than that age. Pfizer says it will submit the data to the FDA and other regulatory agencies soon. The Sanford International has never lacked drama, but this year's tournament featured its first ever playoff. Darren Clark outlasted KJ Choi and Steve Flesh in a two-hole playoff to claim the championship. It was just, it was so much fun. Um, I mean, just to see this place, it was packed. I mean, it was so much fun uh, to see these guys coming down the stretch and fighting it out. It was, it was awesome. Clark is the fourth different champion in the tournament's four-year history and will defend his title the week of September 12th in 2022. The annual Buffalo Roundup and Arts Festival is back at Custer State Park this week. The 28th annual Arts Festival runs Thursday through Saturday at the State Game Lodge. The 56th annual Buffalo Roundup gets underway Friday morning at 9.30 Mountain Time. There is no cost to attend the Roundup or Arts Festival on Friday. However, a park entrance license is required on Thursday and Saturday. That is a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Carstens. Brian? All right, weather it is and pleasant weather today across most of the region. We're looking at highs. Right now, 60s, pretty common. And tomorrow, we are expecting temperatures to climb a little bit as we turn the corner. High pressure settles a little to our south. A breeze out of the south, uh, really uh, corresponding to that change. And then into Thursday, we anticipate a cold front. That weather ahead of the front looks to be pretty mild. I would say right now, 70s, fairly common. And then we're going to expect cooler trends back in the picture for Friday. You'll notice a couple of shower chances, and there's actually a fairly strong low pressure center turning away in northern Minnesota. And the result of that is going to be some gusty winds on Friday. So that definitely looks like a fall like forecast there as uh, we end the work week. But it's not going to last long already by early next week. 
temperatures are jumping back above normal. Let's check out the numbers here today. Temperatures, Sioux Falls area, 68, 68 in Huron and Mitchell as well. Our seven-day forecast into the 70s tomorrow, 75 Thursday, cooling to 67 Friday. Then returning to the upper 70s by Sunday and Monday. Numbers for Aberdeen, mid and upper 70s, Wednesday, Thursday. A drop with that next cold front coming through Friday. At this point, we've elected to keep most of the rain chances out, but there may be some room to put in a 20% chance of a shower, especially Friday night. I think Pierre also will see a little drop in temperature Friday, not a lot, and then mid 80s, perhaps by Sunday, we'll see warmer weather coming back to the northern plains. Rapid City also will see warmer weather in the extended forecast, especially by the weekend. Check out the details with our Storm Center update right now at Kettleland.com.